Bonjour. We are at the, um, the Musée de l'Homme, which is in the 16th arrondissement at Trocadero, at the Palais de Chaillot. Um, so the Musée de l'Homme is actually a part of the Museum of Natural History. So that's the same as what you see at the Jardin des Plantes. Turn the camera around and you can see what we're looking at. So this is the National Museum of uh, Lom, as we say. It's an anthropological museum and ethnographical. And it's been here in its particular form here since the beginning of the 1900s. Um, all sorts of really interesting things here. This started, uh, there was originally an ethnographic museum here back in the, nine, uh, the 1800s. Uh, this one, however, um, because this um, building that we're in, the Palais de Chaillot, has only been around uh, over the last 100 years or so. And so the previous building that was here, which was built originally for the World Exhibition, was um, pulled down. So before that, there was actually another um, similar building that housed uh, artifacts, a lot of these artifacts here. So when this new uh, museum, the Musée de Lum, opened up at the beginning of the 1900s, uh, it had a lot of accumulated artifacts from the Louvre and from various other places uh, with a lot of the um, colonization and exploration around the world a lot of artifacts were taken from various places around the world and added to the collection it's really quite a fascinating place so I see somebody's joined us Welcome, we're at the, cafe, uh, the uh, Musée de l'Homme in the 16th arrondissement in the Palais de Chaillot at Trocadero. It's Judy, hello Judy. So I've been here before, um, there's lots of very interesting things. This is the museum which um, she has a lot of artifacts from various um, other museums accumulated here. For example, these would have come from uh, the Museum of Paleontology and Comparative Anatomy, which is at the Jardin des Plantes. Recently, uh, this um, had an overhaul, maybe about uh, 10, 15 years ago. Uh, or probably a bit longer than that because um, a great number of the artifacts were sent off to the Musée Kiponi, which is across the road, across the river. Okay. So there's a lot of stuff to look at. There's one item in particular that I'm searching for, but I won't mention it until I found it. We've just walked in here. There's currently another exhibition going on. Um, which is uh, called Eclateria. It's um, for kids. It's um, the science and uh, that behind laughter, which is a very human thing. Okay, now they're doing a lot of refurbishment work on the exterior of the building, so unfortunately, the um, windows behind us would normally give us a spectacular view of the Eiffel Tower but unfortunately you can't see that probably with the sun as well but I've actually found an item that I was coming in here to look at so I don't know if you remember when we were at Saint Germain des Prés um, we went to the church and there's the uh, tomb of René Descartes. Well, the tomb of René Descartes doesn't actually have all of René Descartes because this is actually René Descartes' skull, which has been written on. Uh, 
science behind laughter, I need that. Tell us more later. <laughs> yeah. It's um it's an exhibition, uh, what would you call it, ludique or um, play-based. So um, it's very much centered. It's got lots of little activities. It's a great place that I will bring my girls when um, we uh, when they come back from their grandparents' place. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, lots and lots and lots of varied artifacts from various um, epochs and various cultures around the world. It's a real mishmash of stuff. Okay, it exists over two floors at the Palais de Chaillot on the, let's see, the uh, southern uh, wing. Oh, this is the, what is it, the wall of tongues. The wall of tongues um, in a, uh, a literal and figurative sense. Well, wow. see they have Australia here. This isn't, oh yes it is. Let's see if we can pull this tongue. Wow. Is that familiar? Wow. This tongue is from Papua New Guinea. That's interesting, huh? I'm annoyed though because this is New Zealand here. I know that's pointing out to Papua New Guinea, but where, where's Māori? Love it, merci. <laughs> so, lots and lots of tongues from around the world. So, of course, that's the um, anthropological aspect, language, language of evolution and development. If you can just see, you can see the silhouette of the Dame en Fer. Okay, what are these? Now, the um, Musée de l'Homme was involved with a bit of a scandal at one point. Uh, this is related to New Zealand and I'm sure other places as well, but they were at one point in, um, in possession of some uh, shrunken heads from New Zealand and um, they were demanded to be returned and they were at some point. Um, and they have a lot of uh, bronze and um, clay casts of some of the skulls that were taken. So none of these are real, just so that you know. But obviously they are probably based on real ones that were at once, at one point, present. Okay. So there you go, look at that. So there's a, a beautiful cafe. Uh, well, a cafe upstairs, which is the most beautiful view. Uh, we will be having a, a drink there later once we've finished looking at the museum. <laughs> so, there's lots of really fascinating things you know, the physical development of humans over the uh, millennia, like here, for example, and then the cultural development. So it's um really fascinating. Got some fascinating stuff here. So it's not a very big museum, um, which means it's um, quite manageable. But there's still a lot to look at. So you know, it's, um, and of course, uh, good reason to come here is the view. This is not real, so don't get upset if you see it. Uh, 
Okay, some of these are real though. So yes, my favorite part of being here is the view. So yes, they're doing refurbishment outside. Anyway, there is a whole other floor above us, which I won't have time to get to, but yeah, you get the general idea. So yes, love the smaller museums like this one. Yes, absolutely. So I'm actually here with a friend, another member of our group, Terry. So um, I will go back and catch up with Terry and we will um, have a look around together and enjoy and discuss as we do. So I think that's about it for now. Thank you for joining me for um, my second of two short talks today based at Trocadero. So uh, Tuesday I will see you again and um, I'm not sure where we'll be but I have so many places lined up. It's just a matter of securing tickets at the right times. So oh, just a heads up for next Friday I already have tickets to the Hotel de la Marine. Um, I won't be going there because unfortunately I couldn't get tickets until after my 10.30 walk but I'll be around that general vicinity. So thank you. Great when French Life members meet. Oh, shout out to, let's see, um, Paula, who I met. She's currently on holiday here in Paris and um, I was lucky enough to meet her on uh, Wednesday. So um, if, if you're watching Paula, hi, or if you watch later, lovely to have met you and uh, we'll keep in touch. So that's great. So if anybody else is coming to Paris and wants to meet, and feel free to uh, message me and uh, we can meet up. Okay, so thanks very much. We'll finish with this lovely view. Yes, another great view. Okay, take care everyone. Bye.